My scores fluctuate pretty wildly. Uh, I've been taking a bunch of practice tests. I find myself scoring a bit higher on more recent ones, but I'm doing the earlier ones and my scores dropped a bit. Uh, should I be concerned? Would you happen to have any tips for improvements? I'm really aiming for a 175 plus. Yeah, so scores fluctuate. It happens. It's real. I don't know why. Well, actually, I do know why, and the answer is chance. So scores fluctuate because you are not the same person on any given day. And not all exams are equal in nature. Some are harder than others. And of course the exam is equated. So it's not as if they are meant to be harder, but you are not equally good at all things. You're better at some things and you're worse at other things. So if you really hate science reading comp passages and the LSAT that you take has an easy science reading comp, you might be fine. Then if the LSAT you take later has a harder science reading comp, you might get a bit flustered by that and do poorly. Same goes if there's a freak logic game type that you're not that familiar with. So if you haven't done any pattern games in a while and you suddenly get one, your score is going to drop. Next time, no pattern game, your score improves. Or maybe you're tired or hungover when you do one exam and you're fresh and energetic the next time. That causes score fluctuations. So you stay consistent by being good at everything they can throw at you. And you stay consistent by making sure that you are the best possible version of yourself at all times. What that means is that you sleep well, you get good exercise, you meditate, you eat well, you get outside, you relax, you do all the stuff that you know you should be doing. And you get pumped. So you have a playlist and you listen to other stuff. You listen to podcasts. You watch movies that are positive and upbeat and get you in the right mindset. So maybe you're watching Rocky or Friday Night Lights. Those are two of my favorites. Maybe you listen to Jock Jams and Eye of the Tiger. You go on YouTube and you watch 40 inspirational speeches in two minutes. Or you listen to guided meditations. So you're doing that stuff consistently. You're doing it every day without fail. You block off time in your schedule to do this. And so every practice test you take, you are feeling pumped up. You have the sleep you need and you have shored up all your weak areas, everything possible. And so when you take your exams, you'll be in good shape. And so if maybe over the past few weeks, you maybe you go out late one Friday night because you just needed a break. You had a few too many drinks. Then you go take a full-length exam Saturday morning because you feel like you should, even though you're probably not feeling that great and maybe it's not the best use of your time and you're better off sleeping a few more hours. Guess what? The test doesn't go well for you, and it's because you're hungover. Your mind is cloudy. And honestly, you have no one to blame but yourself. And I'm sorry to tell you that, but you know, alcohol, drugs, these are not things that you have room for in your life right now if you want to achieve your maximum potential. And yeah, we all know people who somehow are you know, the comeback kid and somehow they're always able to you know, roll off you know, a binge like it was nothing or they're, you know, they're a pothead and they smoke every night and they're still an uber genius and can still get 175 plus. You know, those people, they're super impressive. I don't know how they do it and they might not live to be 80, but most people are not that. I'm certainly not that. And you might not be either if I'm guessing right. So what that means is that you need to take control of your mindset, take control of your schedule. If you're studying for the exam only a few days away, these next 72, 90 hours, whatever it is, you keep that very rigid where you block out all the people and things in your life that are not setting you up for success. So if you have some emotionally draining you know, vampire friend who just wants to tell you all their problems, cut them off for the next few days. Say, I'm busy, I've got the LSAT coming up, and I will check in with you afterwards. And you surround yourself with positive, uplifting people who want the best for you. And that means maybe you block off all the, all the narcissists on Facebook who are just trying to show off how concerned they are about the latest political thing or they're you know, posting selfies of how great they look with their summer bod. Like none of that matters right now. 
And you don't need to see some artificially constructed perfect version of someone else's life. You need to sit there with your practice problems and put that positive media in front of yourself. And believe me, you're not getting it on Facebook. You're not getting it on the news. You're getting it from a carefully curated reality. That, and rather than that carefully curated reality being what some major corporation wants you to see, you're putting in front of yourself birds chirping. I don't care what it is. You're putting something nice in front of yourself that you want to be there. And it's either that or the LSAT or a walk in the park. And that's all you do the next few days. You are going into an isolation tank of butterflies and snowflakes. And I hope you like it there because it's not going to be forever. But you need to make this your mission right now.